Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at removing developed settings from images in Lightroom. Before we start in Lightroom, I want to introduce you to my classes at Skillshare where I have a series called Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom for Lunch. If you're interested in exploring Skillshare, in the description below is a link which will give you at least as good a deal at Skillshare as Skillshare is currently offering and often my deal is even better. Of course, if you decide to sign up at Skillshare in addition to my classes, there are thousands upon thousands of other classes there that you might be interested in. So let's head back to Lightroom and I have an image here. If I press the I key, I'll be able to see the camera settings and you'll see that this is a DNG file. Now this image did not look this good out of the camera, I know that. So I'm going to click on the develop module and I'm going to try and wind this image back. But you'll see that there is no history in this image. There's some metadata changes and this is just a note as to when this image was imported into this catalogue. So there is no access at this stage through the history panel to the original file, the original out of camera image. But we know that Lightroom doesn't make changes to images and certainly not to DNG images, which are digital negatives. So where are these changes that we can wind back and why are we seeing this image like this in the first place? Well, the reason we're seeing this was that this was edited in another Lightroom catalogue and I've just imported this image into a new catalogue for whatever reason. This will happen to you if you're re-importing an image which already has some Lightroom changes applied to it. So that's why we're not seeing anything in the history module because it hasn't actually been edited in this particular Lightroom catalogue. The way to wind this back to the original settings is to come down here in the develop panel and click reset and we'll see what this image looked like in the camera. You'll see now that the history panel is showing the reset settings but we can always get back to that edited version of the image and we can read off what the edits are because we're seeing them here in these panels in the develop module but anytime if you click reset you'll take an image back to what it was when it was originally out of the camera. Now this is a raw image, it's a digital negative image, but the same thing happens to JPEGs. So this is a JPEG image, we can have a look up here, it's just a standard JPEG image. And it's been edited in Lightroom, it's had all sorts of filters and things applied to it. But again here in the history panel all we can see is this import setting because it was edited in a different catalogue. These changes are embedded inside the image file so all we see is the changed image file. But we know the way Lightroom works. Lightroom never makes permanent changes to images. We should always be able to get back to what the image looked like out of the camera. So let's go to the reset option here and this is the out of camera image. Well at least it's the image that Lightroom first saw when we started applying changes to it. So you can always wind back images to see what they looked like by going to this reset option here if those settings are not available to you in the history panel. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something from it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.